It turns out that brown plastic, especially brown Lego plastic, seems to break very often. So I don't expect this guy to go past like two test battles. So this is my custom Lego Mania Miniboros 1A offset. So I think this was probably the coolest um, Beyblades that I could have made when I made that post. If you guys remember, I made a post like a couple weeks ago or something saying, hey, should I make Neptune, Evil Eye, um, I think it was Trident and Miniboros. I was going to make Neptune, but... Like, ne like, this guy is so much cooler. Minivorus is very interesting. It also gives me a good uh, um, excuse to not make an Excalibur because I already made an Excalibur in the turn system. Go watch that video. It's pretty cool. But, uh, <laughs> also, I saw a lot of people saying um, to do Evil Eye, but that was not going to be very fun. I might make Evil Eye, but I feel like that would be a little bit too basic. So we're going to do Minivorus, and I think this thing is literally the most unique Lego Beyblade I've made so far. Other than the fact that it still has the circle or like the centerpiece, that doesn't matter. So the layer is very interesting since it's like built like an actual Lego structure. So it's built up like this. And then I used some Technic pieces to reverse the studs and added this smooth part in the back. So I don't think I've seen anyone do something like this, and if you have, good for you. Um, but I don't think anyone has done something like this before, and it's probably the most unique part about this bay. Um, also, it has the signature, singular, like, big contact one, but the difference between this and Excalibur is, if I can grab, like, a Excalibur right here, um, the Excalibur point is a lot more, well, pointy, while the Minivoros one is much more blocky, which is pretty interesting. So, I think this will perform okay. It might be pretty off balance, but it'll be really cool. I also put this, like, gold kind of handle there. I thought that was pretty nice. Alright, but moving on, we have one, a same, similar one to Hyperion. The difference between this one and the Hyperion version is that Hyperion had a couple one by one plates um, in the corners. I had to remove those, or else the Beyblade, ooh, I, I dropped it, or else the Beyblade will be very tall, and I don't want this thing to be very tall. It's tall enough as is, so we're gonna have to stick with this. Also, I had to tape um, this side up right here. It's, I don't care that's not focusing. We're not gonna do the same tangent that I did in the Ragnarok video. We're not gonna go through that ordeal, but I had to keep this piece because when I was taking it off to change something, it broke. So, yeah, plastic, like, brown plastic seems to be very easy to break nowadays, and that, that's weird, but it doesn't matter. Next up, driver, or wait, no, it's not shift. I keep on calling it shift, but it's offset, which basically, um, it has this kind of round, uh, tip right there. Focus, camera here. Thank you. It has a round tip, and it, you can turn this bit, and it can be shifted at different, like, angles. I do suggest to not go past where the 1x4 is, just, like, go, like, right up to there, and I call that your unbalanced mode. You can do technically do this, but don't do that, that's kind of silly. Um, but, that's basically it for the combo. There really isn't too much to say about it, other than the fact that this thing might break, because brown plastic, all that stuff, whatever. Let's get to the test battles, and stuff. Alright, so you know where we're at, we're gonna test this thing out, but I do want to mention that I added these slopes at the side, so this would not move while it was spinning, because it was, it was doing that when I did a test launch for the first take, but yeah, here we go, let's try it again, and it is pretty fast, surprisingly not being too screwy on those plates, but of course we can make it screwy by turning that. Push it past here. There we go. If we can just kind of push it past this slope. Now we have it in unbalanced mode. And guess what? It'll be unbalanced. This is my excuse for not making point. Did it just go back to normal? 
<laughs> no, it didn't. It's just, it just has bad stamina. Okay. So we're probably not gonna use that mode. I mean, we'll, we'll use it for a little bit, but not right now. Um, what's a bad Beyblade? Not Ragnarok. Ragnarok's pretty bad. It's just kind of disappointing, but we're gonna test this thing out. Wow. did manage to knock it out. That's a good sign, and it's not broken yet. That's also a good sign. <laughs> Again, I really hope this thing doesn't break. Um, but let's do... Because Ragnarok... No one, no one cares about... Let's be honest, no one cares about Ravage Ragnarok. Um, let's do Helios. Helios is pretty um, subpar, but I did actually change up the driver. I did alter the zone driver to be like Exceed, but it has a rounded bar at the end. Better, I guess, a little bit. I mean, I guess it has better stamina. Uh, just putting my things on the launcher. All right, let's go. Okay, yeah, I really need to learn to only put this thing kind of on the launcher. Oh, oh, that deflected. All right, that was nice. Okay, let's try out unbalance mode. I, I can never tell which way I need to turn it, but... <laughs> I said, but. Okay, that worked pretty well. Oh! oh. Okay! This isn't as bad as I thought it would. Oh. Oh. Guess what, guys? A little piece just came off. Alright, where did that come from? Oh, it came from this. Okay, that's not too bad. It just came from this, like, just like there's like a little gap there. Okay, that's not too bad though. Well, that's not that's not bad. Okay. Start to... If it if it gets too bad, I'll just replace the part. It's not that big of a deal. But it did beat um Helios. That was really cool. Okay, let's do one more battle against this guy. Definitely gonna lose now. It has no stamina. Alright, so I hate to jump to conclusions or anything, but I feel like off balance mode is not very good. <laughs> because, um, just has, there's like no metal in this thing, so it's not gonna have any, um, stamina. And, uh, it's just, it's just, it's inconsistent. So, yeah, I guess we're just gonna use it in stationary mode, which that's kinda lame, but we have Hyperion, who's debatably the best, besides maybe Lucifer. I don't like the Lucifer, though, but whatever. All right, battle of oh, attack types. Oh, it's fast. Hunter Hyperion might be the best new sparking system bay. It's just so good. Actually, I feel like the next review bay will be good since I already have it finished, but you guys don't get to see it yet. Okay, let's go. It's a bad launch. It wasn't a mislaunch, though, so it's fair. You... <laughs> it just doesn't have good stamina. Alright, I think it's time we switch it to unbalanced mode because we need to fit our quota for the day. Let's do this one more time. There's... Okay, that's a missing one. Alright, here, here we go. There's Hyperion. And there is... The girls. It's going. Alright. Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna battle against this thing now. Not Wyvern. I feel like something broke. Something definitely broke. What broke this time? Wait, nothing... Nothing... Nothing broke... What? What? What happened? I'm just confused. Nothing broke, but I feel like something broke. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. We're gonna do one more battle. 
and then we're done because <laughs> I'm afraid of this thing. I'm afraid it's gonna blow up, explode everywhere. It's alive if it can win. I don't know. <laughs> that was a weird battle because like I launched it, went into the pocket. I thought I was like gonna die. That would have been funny to end on. But then it came back. It was spinning for a little bit. It killed this thing's stamina. But also, it killed the st Wizardry. Alright, so that's gonna do it for Matrix Miniboros overall. Um, it's fun. Might be better on, like, a better driver and without triangles at the sides. I think those are making it scrape. But overall, I mean, it's fun, I guess. Take that as it will. So yeah, if you liked this video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next video.